was shaking all over. Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So, this is just a little update, just to show you that I'm addicted to making pillows. <laughs> Which one? Uh, that one is the Ziggy pillow. Um, and I made this one, It's I've got um, memory foam in it, that's for my lower back. Then this huge one I uh, made, I just put two cushions in it, because I like to lean on that. And then just these um, little decorative ones. Um, this one, I uh, actually ran out of fabric. So I just <laughs> put this on the other side. I absolutely love that fabric. I've got some more of that, so I plan to make one more cushion. I've still got two more inserts, so may as well use them up. Oops. Oh, and this one. I won't cover that one. I just love that. Absolute favourite. When I nod off while watching the television, I seem to lean on there and then wake up with a stiff neck. So... I'm just going to get this really useful tool that you use for sewing. I just thought I'd show you this. Um, this is where I keep all my, well not all of them because I've got absolutely loads of uh, spools of cotton. But I bought this, um, I can't remember where it was from, I don't know if it was Amazon or eBay, it was pretty cheap anyway. And this is where I start my spools of thread. And I think it looks quite decorative, just like a piece of art. It's very nice. I've got it behind me door. But I don't like, when I'm opening my door, I don't like open it that wide that it whacks against the wall. I'm going to get another one of these for my uh, bedroom, if I can remember where I put it. And, um, and this is shocking. Oh! <gasps> Ziggy has done that to my wall. Absolutely shocking. So I'm going to have to move this picture along and stick it there. Shocking. You just keep scratching me walls. I don't know why. So yes, that is that. Just thought I'd give you an update about this. I've seen it. I've been on Timu again. <laughs> I've seen it on Timu for... Um, you could get it for £10 and you just got the frame I think it's a standy up one but this is standy up and I just added these can you see them triangular picture frame hangers I just added them so I could hang it to the wall um, and there's another one you can get it's £14.95 and you get all the spools of cotton with it all different shades so, if you want one, just go on Timu. So, how balmy am I? Before you start to sew a zip onto anything make sh on your sewing machine, make sure you have got the appropriate presser foot. <laughs> I've just been using my normal one. Where have I put it? I just took it off. Oh, what a doil. There, found it. I've just been using this. This is my favourite foot to use, open toe, because I like to see where I'm stitching. Some of them are like closed and awkward to see through. So, yes, make sure you have the appropriate presser foot for whatever stitch you're doing. Um, I got this. Oh, this was in my... Um, you should get it with every sewing machine you get there's like a little hideaway drawer there and it's got some useful tools in and that's my next um challenge uh, to do is a buttonhole i've never done one of them before and i'm scared to do it like i was scared to do with the zip but no longer scared so i bought this just shove this out the way I mean, I managed to sew the zip on. It was uh, towards the edge, but I used tiny stitches and it's uh, very secure. So, um, yeah, but I'll just show you this. So, I bought this, I think it was about £12 from eBay years ago. And it's got all these different presser foots that you could use with your sewing machine. 
I have used it for what was it? I did write a note. Oh, can't even. Oh yeah, for a curled hem. Which one is this? The. It's um. Do you know when you fold a hem down on your fabric? Well, it folds down again, so it's doubly secure. So I've used that to do that. And I can't even remember what the other one looks like. It's a ruffler. Uh, when you want to make ruffles, you know, if you're making like a, a skirt with little ruffles in it, all little pleats in it. Well, it can be difficult. Normally, what I would do is a gathering stitch and do it that way, but it's dead awkward. But if you've got the appropriate presser foot, it's a breeze. And I haven't used the rest of them. I'm going to have to look online to see what they're all used for and have a mess around. Is uh, this really weird thing here? Can I get it out? Come on. This re really... Oops. Got the dropsies. Weird that is. Uh, I haven't got a clue what that's for, what you'd use it for. Yes, but there's all different types of ones. And I mean, they're all universal, so they will go in most machines. But if they don't, can you see this? Sorry about the shine. Can you see this shank here? You can get another shank that would click onto a universal one. But I've tried these on my new sewing machine and it's fine. I didn't think it would go because what a dial. There's a little switch on when you take the presser foot off. I'll show you here. Yeah. That goes up. And then to take the presser foot off, you just click the back of it and it comes off. But if you want to click another one on, there's a little switch here where you've just dropped the presser foot and you've got to push that and then shove the presser foot underneath and then put this down and then it just this put this down and it just clicks in i mean i don't know what i'm telling you this for you probably already know and if you didn't you'd just look on a tutorial to show you how to do it but i just thought i'd mention that because i've been sewn my cushions with the zippers on okay i had a good success rate but um you should be using the appropriate presser foot <laughs> so i'm gonna make i've got one more cushion to make um and i'm gonna use that presser foot see what difference there is it's only so you can get closer to the you know the teeth of the zip yeah but i mean it's on the presser foot itself you can either get really close to the zip or you could go in the right hand side and go um like i did uh towards the end of the um ugh, no good explaining am I? right i'll show you right then so that is the presser foot now if you had the uh, clipped on to the left hand side of the needle it would go down like that and it would stitch as close to the teeth as possible but if you read it on the left hand side, it would stitch towards the outer side of the zip. Which is what I did when I didn't use the appropriate presser foot. And it's made a really nice neat finish, so... Yeah. But I will just experiment. Anyway, that's all of the babble I've got to say. <laughs> um... <sighs> I was going to show you a ziggy, but never mind. Anyway, Johnny signing out. See you, bye. So, I was looking on Timu, as you do, uh, just for zippers, zips. Um, anyway, I found this really cool one. It comes on a roll. It's not like these, separate. It comes on a roll, and it's a gradient of all different colours. And all you do is just put these on yourself and fasten that yourself and it's all right for when you're just like offhand like i do sometimes just think oh i'd like to make this and then uh, you realize you haven't got the appropriate size zip or a zip at all so i got that and while i was looking at that i showed you um someone sewn 
uh, zip onto a garment. So that's when I realised I wasn't using the appropriate presser foot for the sewing machine. <laughs> but I mean I managed and uh, my stitches are really tiny and really neat so I sewed on the, because the normal presser footer, uh, presser footer, the normal presser foot would go here and because the zip's in the way it pushes against the zip and my stitch was on the edge. But it's neat, nice enough. I just wanted to show you this bit. Um, now I've pinned the zip to the cushion. I flip it over. And that's where the zip is, hidden in there. And what I do is peel it back. And if there's any stray, you know, because this material's um, fraying, if there's any stray threads along here, I'll just trim them off because I don't want them getting stuck in the zip. Well, I found that to be more nerve-wracking using the zipper presser foot because I was more aware that the needle was closer to the teeth than when I stitch on the outside. So I went really slow and took me time. But as you can see, the um, it's not really in a straight line. It's uh, a bit wiggly. And along here, and where I pulled the zip away so I could um, stitch, I couldn't get right to the edge. It sort of flicked out, but so I've never stitched the last couple of stitches. So I think um, I'll just stick to what I'm used to. I won't be using the presser foot unless it's for some really delicate work. I don't know. Look, that's gone all wiggly as well. So let's see what it looks like the other side. Probably look a mess. Well, I mean, it's not like you're going to be investigating the stitches, is it, when you're using the pillow? Not me finest, but it's all right. So there we go, all done. So this will be the last pillow I will be making for quite a while. Not that I didn't enjoy it, I really did, but uh, I don't need any more. My uh, living room's going to be full of them. I've still got one insert left, but I'm just going to keep that for spare. Or maybe give it to me mum, she wants it. Um, what I didn't like about using that um, zipper foot, because I went so close to it, the zip is not so hidden now. It's sticking out. You can still see it, but that doesn't matter if you're keeping the cushion on its base. And this bit here, can you see the zip? In the others, the zip was hidden. You couldn't see it. But because I've stitched too close to the zip, you can see it sticking out. So I think what I'll do is just stick to um, where I'm used to, using my normal zipper for it, because I really enjoyed and I was really pleased with those results more. So, anyway. That's all I've got to say. Yes. I might make some pen, uh, pencil cases next. And um, I'm going to make an organiser to keep all my um, bits and bobs in for me fabric making and embroidery. So, anyway. Look, Ziggy's woke up. Are you going to say hello, Ziggy? No, you're going to wash yourself. Are you going to say hello? No. Johnny's signing out. And Ziggy, see you bye.